What happened to Katarzyna Zawoda could only be described as horrifying. In 1998, the 23-year-old Katarzyna went missing and only a few months later, they've discovered that she's been tortured and basically skinned alive. Her skin was discovered by a local fisherman as he noticed there was some odd piece of skin stuck to his boat uh, and when he went to investigate it, he saw there was a piece of human ear stuck to the skin. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Perro and I hope that you're all doing great. Like I said before, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the extremely disturbing case of Katarzyna and we'll, we'll talk about what happened to her. If you like true crime and mysterious videos, you can always check out the playlist just here after the video. It would be awesome if you could leave a like and a subscribe under this video. It helps out a lot. And without further ado, let's get into the story. Katarzyna was studying religious studies at the Jagiellonia University. She would often skip classes, which her mom didn't really know about as she was away at the university dorms. And she would skip those classes because she was struggling with depression after her father died in 1996 uh, and she attempted many times to take her own life. On the day of her disappearance, on the 12th of November 1998, she was supposed to meet up with her mother to go for a mental health checkup um, in Nova Huta, which is nearby where she used to live. However, she never turned up to that meeting. In the morning of that same day, Katarzyna decided to skip school as she wasn't feeling really good. She decided to stay at home and just listen to her favorite band, Grateful Dead. And a few minutes later, her friend Robert, who she met at a music expo, walked into her room and asked if she would like to go with him to um, his apartment on the outskirts of, of the town they used to live in. Katarzyna agreed and this was the last time that anyone saw her. That house that she went to is most likely where she was tortured and skinned. And now a few months go by, no one really knew where Katarzyna was. Her mother filed a missing case report. Everyone's looking for her. No one could really find her though until the 6th of January 1999 where a local fisherman noticed that he was dragging something behind his boat. And like I said before, he noticed there was something strange about it. It was a pale rotting skin he at first didn't really know what it was until he saw the ear that was attached to the skin the fisherman immediately notified the police about his findings and the skin was sent out for testing it came back positive basically confirming that this was the skin of katarzyna now the police had the skin but they never really knew where the rest of her body was a few days later some of her clothes washed up on the river as well as her right leg However, the rest of her body parts were never really found. And now this is where the story gets even more disturbing and ev goes even more dark. So Robert cut her skin in such a clinical and precise way so that when he took off the skin from her body, he could actually wear it as a skin suit. The skin was carefully removed from her thighs and her arms as well as around the neck. So when he was wearing it, it was basically just the torso. And the way Robert cut this skin was very precise and not everyone could do that so he must have gotten that experience from somewhere now robert had a very difficult childhood uh, he was an outsider and he was often called a freak by his friends and he would take out that anger on basically the cats and dogs uh, that lived in around his area later in the 90s he would help out at the prosectorium at the local um, religious hospital and he used to temporarily work at the Krakow Institute of Zoology, where he would prepare animal skin. His contract was however terminated as he killed all the rabbits uh, that they had there. And these places are most likely where he got his experience. It was also mentioned that Robert didn't really accept his gender and he would often put on female clothes. It was reported that he would often spy on the female neighbors and he would often harass them. Uh, now Robert was a suspect to the police from basically the beginning of this case uh, in the 90s but there just wasn't enough evidence for the police to arrest him or interrogate him until 2014 where the police received a letter from the friends of Robert basically uh, exposing him saying that it was him who did it. Now the case still remains as classified uh, so we don't really know what was said in that letter, but it was enough for the police to arrest Robert. When the police arrested him, they searched through his apartment and there was blood in the bathtub. I couldn't find any information saying what blood or who this blood uh, belonged to. But if there's any updates, I will make sure to just comment them down below. And as of September 2019, Robert is yet to be released or go through the trial. The police asked for a closed trial. They're trying to keep this case very classified. And as far as we know, Robert is still being held by the police. I haven't seen any updates uh, if there was any sentence 
given to him but like i said before about the blood i'll most likely update it down in the comments so guys let me know what you think about this disturbing story most of the evidence points to robert and i am pretty sure that's that he's the one that did it if you have any opinions or theories please make sure to write them down in the comments let me know what you think if you would like to check out more videos they should be just here you can always subscribe and like the videos and yeah i'll see you in the next one